Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. My name is Fred Bergeron from Inaxis. In today's video, I will show you this very important device, which is a Leak Protect from Ajax Systems. All right, uh, and I'm going to show you how we can add it to, uh, to the hub, and also um, that. Um, you know, it's, it's a very useful device, uh, whether if it's a residential or commercial application. Um, it's a sealed enclosure, it's IP65. You can have up to 200 devices on the Ajax Hub 2 Plus. Um, and also, uh, this will allow you to receive alarms at the monitoring station on your phone um, and also make some actions in the system. You know, so, you know, if, for instance, um, if there's a water leak, you want to um, Activate a relay or, or a, you know, or a valve. You know, we'll, we'll show you uh, that this is now possible with this system. So let's have a look at how it's, it's be, being enrolled. Um, as you may have seen in other videos, uh, you know, most devices you have to open a cover and then get to the QR code. Now for the League Protect device, it's all in a sealed, like I said, IP65 enclosure, and the QR code is showing at the back with the uh, power button. Okay. So I will open the Ajax app. From the main menu, you want to click on Add Device. You can flip the Leak Protect around to uh, show the QR codes, give the device uh, a name, let's say Kitchen. And for the device ID, make sure you allow access to the camera with the app. And you can now scan the QR code, press the power button, and next, hold on, maybe I didn't press long enough. Okay, now it's working. All right, now it's already added to the system. Okay, so by default, I had created a room called uh, house. Okay, so the leak protect is now assigned to the house. Okay, now I will show you the device details from the app. If you open the first page for the leak protect device, you'll see the, the room temperature, if the device is online, if the signal strength is good or not, uh, the battery uh, level, and uh, if basically the lid is closed, which is in this case, it's an enclosure that's sealed. Um, so, and that there's right now currently no water leak. Okay, so if I go to the device options, um, there's one interesting option here that's quite important to, 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 to know about um, is if you want to activate the siren or not when there is a water leak, okay? By default, this is turned on, okay? So it's going to be a silent alarm. Um, and then depending on how your account is set at the monitoring station, they're going to call you or, uh, you know, if you're self-monitoring the device, then you have maybe a rule program in the Ajax hub to activate an output to shut down the, the water valve, for instance, okay? Now I will show you what happens when the device, the leak protects device uh, from Ajax systems detects water. So for this example, I'm using, you know, this plate, the, um, the um, uh, water leak detector. All right. So imagine this is installed underneath your sink, underneath your bath, uh, near the shower, uh, you know, underneath the water tank downstairs. Um, this is a very small device. It doesn't use a lot of room and it's actually good looking. So. Um, put them everywhere in the house. And if there's a water leak on top of the device or around it, as soon as the water will touch one of the sensors, it's gonna make contact and the device will go into alarm. So for this example, I'm using this plate with the sensor. I'm using this beautiful Inaxis water bottle. And as you can see, when I'm gonna pour some water around it or on top of it, right? Um, it's now in alarm. I'm receiving a notification with this crazy sound, so I know there's something happening in, in the house or at my office. All right. So this is, you know, how the uh, system reacts. And like I said before, if you decide to activate the siren on a, a water leak, then the sirens will go off. Right. So as you have seen, it's very easy to program one of these um, water leak detectors. And also, um, in, in my department, we get a lot of requests from clients wanting, you know, looking for solutions. Uh, for instance, for, you know, uh, apartment buildings where obviously if there's a water leak in the apartment above you, it's a big problem, right? So, in other words, we think it's a device that you should use everywhere. Yeah. Also, in our own buildings, uh, uh, we have a water detector like this in every bathroom, in the kitchen. Everywhere there's a possibility of a water leak, we've installed some of these and they are very useful. Uh, already we had some experience with 
uh, you know, the janitor making a, a mess and it, we received the alarm on the Saturday. So as I said, it's the device that's a must have in my opinion, and you should install one of these everywhere. If you look at uh, uh, one other video we made uh, recently about the uh, integration between the Ajax system and a water valve, you'll find out that we can use scenarios uh, with this device here um, to basically when there's an alarm, we activate the wireless relay and then the valve will, will shut down so that the water is stopped. All right. And then when you disarm the system, we reopen the valve and the system goes back to normal. OK, so this is an example of what we can do with with uh, these uh, leak protect devices. OK, so uh, it's part of a scenario. You just imagine what you want and we can do it. Remember that Inaxis is an official distributor of Ajax system products. All right. You can now order Ajax system devices from our website in access.com. All right. Uh, again, my name is Fred Bergeron. I'm the head of tech support. If you have any technical questions or comments or suggestions for future videos, please send them below and I'll be more than happy to help you. All right. Please subscribe to our channel. This is, will help us, you know, make more um, future content for you as well. All right. Thank you very much.